Okay, in this video we're checking out the Emacs Tiny Hawk S. This is the long anticipated update to the very popular Tiny Hawk. And let's go get right into the video and I'll show you what's inside this little case here. Similar case as what we had before. And we've got the drone inside here. We'll put that aside. We'll look at that here in a second. You do get a 2S battery. So this is one of the uh, updates for the new version. It is 2S capable. You get a 1S battery, the same one as before, and so it is compatible with all of your previous batteries. You don't, you don't lose any capabilities after going to the new version. You get a new USB charger that will do um, 1S or 2S, and that's 2S via the balance lead, and it does look like the uh, there's a switch there to switch between uh, regular LiPo and high volt LiPo. So you can do 4.2 volts or 4.35 volts on the battery. Get some spare parts here. So you get a little screwdriver, um, some rubber bands, that's for the battery holder. I'll show you that here in a second. Some extra rubber grommets and some spare screws. I think those are going to be for the motors, I believe. Those are available if you need them. And you get here, get some Emacs stickers. So you get a spare set of the props, and these are the turtle mode props, the four-bladed ones. And very important here, you get this 2S warning. Uh, they have specifically tuned the Tiny Hawk S for 1S and 2S, and they have two different profiles for them. So it's very important that you use the proper profile for the proper battery. So profile 1 is tuned for 1S LiPos, and Profile 2 is for 2S LiPos. So I will show you how to do that. Uh, to change it in the OSD with your transmitter. I will show you that um, a little bit later in the video. You definitely don't want to miss that part because if you put in the 2S battery and you're on Profile 1 for 1S batteries, it's not going to fly right. It might even fly away. So you want to be careful that you don't miss uh, this warning and uh, follow the proper setup instructions later on in the video so that you don't actually have a bad flight experience and or mess up your drone in some way. Okay, we'll take a closer look at the drone and the battery. So this is what the 2S light bill looks like. It's a high volt, 300 milliamp hour uh, little 2S battery here. It has a PH 2.0 connector. So it's not using a JST or an XD30 and they're using this to save weight. Apparently it's not drawing enough current where you would need an XD30. Uh, they have made other modifications besides obviously the 2S ESCs. I uh, believe the camera is a little bit different, so let me just show you the camera. See, it's got sort of a flat lens here, and then if you look at the original, the lens is slightly curved, and yeah, it's really, it's not really coming out on camera, but yeah, this the, the lens is slightly different, so I'm thinking they're using a little bit of a different camera. They've also have redesigned the frame a little bit to take into account some of the durability issues so you can see there on the on the original I've uh, broken off these little uh, spokes here on the uh, duct and I've actually just used some welders right there to hold, put it back glue back on basically and it's actually holding on pretty good I've actually broken many of these and just used a little bit of welders it does add a little bit of weight to the drone of course but it does hold those on but they've improved that in the new version so you can see the difference here there is more material here where the spoke meets the edge of the duct here so this is definitely going to hold up a lot better and crashes and they've also changed the way the motor plugs work instead of the plugs going into the board vertically here from above the wires go under and plug into the board sideways here so this board is obviously very different the battery tray is also very different instead of a piece of plastic holding the battery in here like before. Uh, you have these rubber bands. So obviously this can now accommodate either the lower profile 1S battery, which will fit just fine, or you can use the 2S battery and just stretch the rubber bands a little bit. And obviously the rubber bands are grippy, so that's gonna hold that um, that battery in. So I haven't had I haven't had any battery ejections, actually less with these than with uh, the old version because this tray does tend to get a little bit loose and the batteries tend to fly out after a while so this i think is a better system so it'll always accommodate 1s or 2s and we still have the same ph 2.0 connector for either your 1s or 2s batteries and another change uh, they made is to the receiver i believe the old receiver was not spi receiver the new one is 
still D8, but it is SPI, but it isn't switchable to uh, D16. If you guys are wondering, I, at least I'm not aware of a way to do that. That, that is actually something that's, I think, stuck on D8, if you were wondering. And then um, I did make one modification. I, I pulled out the VTX antenna here to get a little bit uh, better range and better reception uh, in the, uh, I guess, out-of-the-box config. It's actually tucked in under the frame on the side over here, I believe. So you do have to, in order to make that mod, you do have to unscrew the four screws and pull the, the board out to get a little of a space there so you can pull the uh, VTX antenna through this opening right here. And as you can see, I did that same modification on the version one. This is a very popular modification. A lot of people do that to get better range on their video signal. And uh, this is one I would recommend doing. Uh, obviously you don't have to do that uh, if you're not flying too far away. I don't have a lot of walls you're flying in between. The uh, standard config should be just fine. Um, but yeah, this is one that I felt I wanted to do and it's pretty easy to do. And obviously once you pull the antenna out like that, you just uh, screw the, or mount the board back on again via the uh, little rubber grommets right there, which is really hard to see. Yeah, okay, you see one right there. Is going these little posts and then put the tray back on and then uh, for the put on the four screws again, and that's pretty much it. Now another change I made was to the motors. It's a little bit different motor uh, on this new version. It's an 0802 motor at 15,500 kV, whereas the old motor was a 08025 motor, a little bit bigger motor at 16,500 kV. So they, they changed this motor to get a little bit better flight time. So you're going to get about uh, four to five minutes of flight time on the 1S battery. Um, and it's still pretty fast. I think that they measured the speeds uh, on 1S uh, 35 miles. It was okay, so it was 35 miles per hour on the old version, 37 miles per hour on 1S on the new version, and 40 miles, 45 miles per hour on 2S on the new version. So uh, let me just show you the weight difference. It's a little bit lighter, I think. That and a lighter motor, and I think the motor being more efficient is uh, the main differences in terms of performance improvements. So the old or the new version here is 27.7 grams. The old version here is a little bit heavier, at 28 and a half grams. So it does have this little 3D printed part here to hold the camera in place. It just barely measures anything, maybe like 0.1 of a gram. So yeah, it's about uh, I would say half a gram. A little more than uh, probably more like eight tenths of a gram lighter somewhere in that range so that does help with uh, flight time and overall performance on uh, 1s and 2s now in terms of uh, flight time on 2s it is quite a bit shorter than it is on 1s because you're dealing with a 300 2s versus a 1s 450 it is heavier um, and that does uh, cut down your flight time. If you're flying pretty aggressively, like you'll see some of the flight demos I'm going to show you, you're going to get like two minutes of flight time. So they really aren't uh, marketing this for long flight times on 2S. It's more just to, uh, if you want to uh, sort of move up from the beginner 1S mode and do a little bit of faster flying on 2S, especially outdoors in windy conditions, then they do offer the uh, 2S option there for more outdoor flights and in exchange for a shorter flight time. Okay, so in this part of the video I'm going to show you how to um, change your profile so that you can fly it on 1S or 2S without having any issues. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug in a 1S battery first. I already have my radio turned on and the receiver bound and I have the video transmitter uh, or the receiver uh, already on the right correct channel so I should get a signal here. Okay, so what you want to do with your transmitter is uh, go into the OSD, and to do that, you're going to move the throttle to the mid position, yaw to the left, and then the right stick is going to go up. And at that point, you should get this menu here. Okay, I put the uh, lens cap on the camera so you can see the menu better. And to navigate through uh, the menu, you're going to use the right stick. And it's going to be uh, basically, uh, yeah, so basically you're going to go up and down to bring this little arrow here. It's going to go up and down. So basically it's like down, 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 up, 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 up. And if you want to go into a section, you're going to push the stick to the right. 
So if I want to go into the profile section here to change my profile, you can see here now I am on profile two. And since I plugged in a 1S battery, I want to switch that to one. And so I'm going to move the right stick to the left. And that should change to a one there. So you can see right there, now it says PID profile one. And then you want to also change the rate profile to one. You want to make, make sure those are matching. And in this case, I am on rate profile one already. If it is on two, then obviously you just move the stick to the left and then you go, it'll go to one. And obviously to change your profile two, you're just going to uh, put your arrow on PID profile one like that and then you're going to move the stick to the right and then it changes to a two so basically for the 2s battery we want to put profile two and rate profile two it's going to look like that and then for 1s you want it to be on rate profile one and whoops and pid profile one like that and then go back and then you want to go to save and exit and then that should uh, uh, now be on the proper setup for the 1S battery. Yeah, so basically just make sure that you check that before you uh, fly so that you uh, <laughs> don't accidentally are on the wrong one. Uh, so make sure you're on profile one for 1S and profile two for 2S. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video on the Tiny Hawk S. Uh, you know, basically for me, I think that for indoor flights inside of a small house like I have, I'm gonna stick with 1S and the longer flight times, I think it performs just as well as the original, if not better. And then the 2S there is available for you if you want to get a little more performance outside, maybe in some windy conditions, it'll, it'll fly obviously better. It's not going to be a speed Damien like, like the Mobile 7 or anything like that. So for those of you guys that are looking for ultimate speed, something like that, um, you know, pr primarily on a, on a 2S battery, this, this product is probably not going to be for you. But if you're a beginner and you're looking for something to start out on 1S, something a little bit slower, safer, uh, definitely check this one out, and then if you want to try out 2S and go a little bit faster down the road, then the 2S option is available to you. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll show you some more flight footage now. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.